No matter what you think, petroleum-based fuels are going to be here a long time. We got a third of the world's oil. We have to convert it. We have to do it in the way that is the least damaging. And at the end of the day, the best stuff will come from Alberta. Here, we are relentless in our approach. That's the way Albertans are. We can make the best petroleum. We can make the stuff with the lowest impact on the world. And all we got to do is take advantage of the opportunities we've got here. People all around the world are trying to think, what could I do with CO2? There must be something I can do with it. And you could either say, big problem, don't know what to do with it, might as well send it into the atmosphere. Or you could say, big opportunity. In Alberta, you've got the opportunity of a lifetime because there's all these old oil wells that I can put CO2 in. And when I do that, the oil wells go back to their original productivity. So we got a place to put CO2 in prolific quantities, 2 billion tons. That's 20 years of all the oil sands emissions. We took the view at Sturgeon that we've got a chance to do this. We're the most recent refinery built and we're really sensitive to the environmental impacts that we built. So we decided right from the start, we're going to capture the CO2 and we're going to use it for enhanced oil recovery. That CO2 we are not venting atmosphere and not polluting the environment, but that CO2 we are utilizing to make the more oil products. The carbon capture portion of this is so important. If you can basically, in effect, remove 300,000 cars annually off the road. The future is in our hands. If we show people you can do this, there's going to be more guys show up and build more of them. And that's how we'll transform the place and protect it for the future. We need win-win situations, and that's what we're, that's what we're getting here.